Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running on Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. What a day it has been. We are in the, the wee hours of uh, Super Bowl Sunday, and what a contentious Super Bowl it has been, I'll tell you that. I've been a lifelong football fan, and you know, I was just really hoping that Jordan would make that three-point shot, really just take it home for the Yankees, but didn't happen, you know, so I sat for a while, I was just, you know, you know the way it is, you just have to absorb it, let it sink in for a bit, and then from there, you move on, and uh, I thought, all right, I was devastated and destroyed for a few hours, but let's get down to business. McDonald's has a new release out, ladies and gentlemen. I, I always like it when McDonald's does release something new, because, you know, lately they have been on a pretty good streak uh, when it comes down to their recent items. You know, for instance, when I was trying out that one premium Angus, uh, what actually wasn't the Angus burger, it was one of the mushrooms on it. Um, I mean, that one was, that one was actually, it was solid. You know, it, it was solid. I can't, I can't complain. I didn't know how it was gonna be. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. But it was, uh, it, I mean, it was much better than I expected. And this one has been making some waves lately because McDonald's said, "All right, we're gonna take a classic item, probably, I, I would say, arguably at least, the most classic item on the menu, and amend it. Not, not too much." Maybe, well, it depends. Maybe too little, it depends. Uh, but they're going to take the Big Mac, and they're going to put some bacon on it. Thus, we have the Big Mac bacon. I don't know why they didn't just call it the Bacon Big Mac, but, you know, McDonald's is McDonald's. They just, they, they, they do what they want, and uh, that's just the way, that's the way it goes under the Golden Arches. Now, you're probably asking yourself, all right, is this what I think it is? Is it just a Big Mac with bacon on it? And my answer is yes. That's it. It's a Big Mac, uh, which of course just comes with the two all-beef patties, the cheese, the special sauce, the middle bun, you, know, you can't forget that, the three buns, lettuce, pickles, and onions. And I think I already said cheese, but if I didn't, then there's, there's double cheese. Not. All right. Nonetheless, it took a long time to get this. I mean, it was it was a ridiculously long time. I was sitting in line for God knows how long. There we go. You can see the golden arches on the back there, and uh, then you can see right there. Actually, kind of advertising Big Mac. I kind of like that. How it says, you know, it's just hey, a special bag for a special iconic sandwich, to say the very least. But it took a long time, and I feel bad for the people that were working at the McDonald's because they, <laughs> I, I just feel bad, you know, and you have so many customers there, and they're just going back and forth, back and forth, you know, it's just so, it's so crazy. But anyway, Big Mac bacon. Let's open it up. Open it up. That's a sandwich for you right there. Well, we talk about not making it to last, but if I hold this up real close. You can kind of vaguely see, and I probably can't, but in the grease, in the grease stain there, it does say bacon Big Mac, with no, with no bacon. Well, there goes that. <laughs> Shoot. 
That's my, yeah, that's my mistake, you know. I take the blame for it. It's not, you know, there's no bacon on it. It is what it is, I guess. It, you know, it, it's my it, it, it's it's my fault. I should have looked. I should have, you know, how 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 difficult is what I was looking for. Is it to just open up the box and look for the bacon? I I didn't do that. I screwed up. You can see very evidently uh, that it is just a standard Big Mac sandwich right there. there that was the fourth wall action as if the, the, the Big Mac had sucked all the life out of me. But you can see we have a blank bun. Nothing under the beef patties. Middle bun. Clearly devoid of any and all bacon or potential bacon. Bottom bun. And nothing lurking under that one either. Well, shoot. Well, like I said, this one's on me. But you know what they say, right? The show must go on, so I'm going to eat the bacon Big Mac with Big Mac bacon without any bacon. It's going in. To make this worth my while, I'm going to eat the part where the special sauce is. After a moment like this, one may question, is this really water in this water bottle? Your answer? It isn't. It's purified drinking water in the water bottle. Well, yeah, I suppose you can say that it tastes like a Big Mac bacon that doesn't have any bacon on it. I don't know if the crickets in the background are quite audible there, but it's most appropriate, nonetheless. The Big Mac, though, I mean, I'm always a fan of it, you know, I mean, I can't complain. I like my Big Mac sandwiches. That's probably my go-to item from, from McDonald's at this point. I always like the special sauce. I always just, I like that little tang that it brings, you know. I just, I sometimes wish that the patties could be a little bigger, but I was looking forward to trying it with the bacon and very clearly... You know, I think this is one of those moments that we all collectively experience as uh, consumers of, of fast food. Where, you know, you go, you order it, and you don't get what you've ordered. I think it's happened to us many more times than we perhaps care to admit, uh, especially when I'm supposed to be the one showcasing it. So a pro tip and a life lesson. Dear viewers, next time you're, you're out here doing a food review, Always make sure you check the food before you turn the camera on and uh, save yourself the trouble. Uh, but nonetheless, the, uh, the, the bacon, the Big Mac, B Big Mac bacon, 
was uh, six dollars. Rather expensive for uh, a sandwich that would just have a little bit of bacon on it. I imagine it would add some extra flavor and, you know, go over pretty well, but... You know, I mean, like, they have the two for five dollars till sometimes with the Big Macs, so just for a little strip of bacon on it, you know, maybe a bit overpriced, dare I say. Uh, but nonetheless, who knows, maybe I'll go re-review it at some point again. Mis mistake, mistake on my part. To be honest, I'm just left in a state of total devastation. Only way you could really sum it up. Just disbelief and total, total devastation. That's... I should have checked the bag, you know. What more can you do, folks? With that said, that's all that I have. I, I, I don't know what to do anymore, so I guess I'm just going to shut the camera off. And with that said, uh, I might I might re-review it. We'll see. We'll see going forward. I know I know there's a few other new items out at that. And uh, on a final note, check out my podcast, SoundCloud.com/slash vorw. Uh, you know, I, I talk about some philosophical stuff, some life issues, some current events. Play some tunes as well. You know, spin the records as they say. Try to make it a a mixed variety program for any and all to enjoy really hope you check it out it's it's my baby you know but it it is i put a lot of work into it each week and uh hope you give it a give it a little listen if you can soundcloud.com slash v-o-r-w new show every thursday well with that said i'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the night and contemplate this this disaster and uh i'll, I'll get back at you at some point maybe take care